Osmotic demyelination. A variety of neurological symptoms are known to manifest as a result of both acute hyponatremia, defined as usually developing in less than 48 hours, and chronic hyponatremia, defined as lasting 48 hours or more. Acutely, low osmolality causes water in the brain to move from extracellular areas with low solute content into cells with relative high solute content. Glial cells selectively swell after hypotonic stress, and neurons do not, suggesting the existence of glia-specific water pores. In an effort to reduce cellular edema and intracranial pressure, glial cells rapidly expel electrolytes, and partial restoration of brain volume may occur within a few hours. However, when hypoosmolality develops at a rate that exceeds the brain's ability to regulate its volume by electrolyte losses, severe brain edema results, potentially leading to neurological dysfunction and sometimes death. In the case of chronic hyponatremia, however, the brain continues its adaptive response to regulate cell volume and minimize edema. The normalization of brain volume is completed within several days through loss of organic osmolites. When hyponatremia is corrected too rapidly, greater than 10 to 12 milliequivalents per liter per 24 hours, the brain's ability to recapture lost organic osmolites can be outpaced, which may lead to osmotic demyelination. In the context of rapidly increasing serum osmolality, glial cells in the brain will again try to restore balance, this time by increasing the production of organic osmolites and by increasing the intracellular inorganic ion content. This process, however, is a significant metabolic strain on glial cells, leading to ATP depletion. Water, therefore, leaves the glial cells, resulting in cell shrinkage. This, along with a severe discrepancy in osmolality, can lead to axonal shear damage, apoptosis, and disruption of the blood-brain barrier. If the blood-brain barrier is compromised, serum complement, cytokines, and other inflammatory mediators may enter the central nervous system, which can directly lead to demyelination by a damage to oligodendrocytes.